you know, uh, this whole mental illness um, in the black community, um, Daryl Steinberg, when the mayors of Sacramento, Stevante Clark was the brother of Stephon Clark, a brother that was killed, shot um, multiple times in his grandmother's backyard for many um, assault charges and misdemeanors and people. So it's a whole outrage in the black community. And this was ridiculous. It was on March 18th. And uh, it continued like a huge uh, controversy as well because, um, you know, the family was a little more acting out more Stevante Clark. And what I understand about Al Sharpton when he was in that uh, funeral, you cannot, how can I say, you really cannot um, tell anyone how to grieve. You know, me personally working in the hospital, I see people grieve all the time. You got to see people, I won't say people going into violence, but, you know, people like to slam things, like to yell, pray. I mean, it's a time and place for everything, you know, and the Bible says, you know, he will bless those that are more and they will comfort it. So we are not in a place to tell someone how to grieve, you know, unless they harm and physically harm an individual, then that's a totally different story. You know, you unless a sin or your anger or the sun class down because of your anger is different practical ways to assess the situation and to collectively come together and be in your right state of mind. And me realizing this, man, and you know, this brother, I don't know if he's going to receive any justice. Hopefully that this family would be um, just reimbursed or receive some type of uh, revenue from the police department because I believe that was wrong on so many levels. And me, more of as a conservative, I try to look at all of the angles and the business perspective. But this is um, this is really not morally right. You know, it's uh, of course, as a young man, you know, he shouldn't put himself in that position for him to for the cops to actually use lethal force. All right. So we we can we can have all this debate and all discussion, but the young man is dead, and then um, he said derogatory terms. I guess when he was alive, they was looking at all his tweets about black women that he would the last time you would date a black woman is, is uh, anything he has black was a black controller, and he has an Asian um, woman as his baby mother, and you know people with black women felt offended of it. They was like, oh, we shouldn't march on his behalf, and I'm gonna make a little separate video on that because they feel like they are the leaders of the community that we need them to get any type of justice. Like, okay, that's just, you guys are just one group of people. Like, okay, we still gonna march for this young man, and we, we gonna stand by him, and I truly believe in that. That's why I made, if you go back to the video, the Stephon Clark Talented 10th video, uh, you know, moving on, so Stefante Clark, uh, he was arrested, I want to say April 18th. Um, this is a young man who disrupted the Daryl Steinberg City Council meeting and um, just, just grieving. He was on CNN, and uh, he, he had a point, but I understand you upset my brother. It's just different things that he could have done. Now, he said he has mental illness, and Daryl Steinberg, he was inspired to have an emergency meeting. He's going to employ many medical or health um, volunteers are trained and um, I want to say operate or open up mental health clinics for lower income families in the um, black community because he feel like this is um, the the black community has like a lot of trauma has poverty uh, it's just a lot of psychiatric things that's going on it's really affecting uh, people in a way and for the point that it cannot be functional human beings or citizens in society and this is what he's advocating. And he's doing this right now called a Steinberg Initiative uh, program. Uh, it's in Sacramento. And and I think that, you know, mental illness is a serious thing. It's something that we shouldn't take lightly. And it, it really kind of starts off with traumatic events. You know, I mean, look at the black community. It's the projects, right? You know, it's just a lot of things. It's just poverty and um, not too much really good things going on. Little education, little job opportunities. And when you in an area like that, you'll be growing up, say, maybe 16, 17, 18 years. You know, you're going to be subjected to violence. You know, you're going to, if you don't have a good source or you don't have any type of guidance or you're not self-motivated. And this is why it's so important for like young men, especially young black men, to have some type of guidance or have some mentor or surround yourself with male figures. Because, you know, I don't understand, you know, growing up without a father. Well, actually, I have a father growing up, but for the individual, it can be difficult growing without a father or having some type of parent or be emotionally stable while you're growing up and learning about this world. You know, and, you know, you go out here, you bump your head and... If you're not spiritually, you know, grounded as well, spiritually rooted and on the churches, you're not actually involved, you can be easily lost. And I feel like what this brother is, even though he admitted that he's lost and 
and this stuff is happening, he's not putting things in the proper respect, and that's why he's lashing out. It should have been a someone or young man just would have took this young boy under his wing. I don't know if his father wasn't in his life or anything, but this is a, this is a sad situation because a lot of us who a lot of brothers go through this and, and some women too but i really focus on this video for the brothers man and uh it can be difficult you know i uh, being a young man and um you just got to be twice as smart man you got to be analyzed you know if you argue with your woman you know you can't hit her because you know you go to jail for domestic violence you get something on your record and it'll be hard for you to get a job get uh, some type of employment to actually change your life around you get caught with some weed you know they give you 10 15 years sometimes it depends on the judge i mean it's some harsh laws and then next you know you really can't be a functional in society like you fill out like 20 30 applications try to go to trade school you try to do something and you always get denied because of your past record and um, if you don't have to hustle ambition to start a business or no one's not giving you any type of incentive or what to do, I mean, you're going to go back into like, hey, I'm just going to start flipping my money, making money illegally. We all want to provide. And that huge goal is to not only get the house, but just to live comfortably and have money coming in. But many people have different avenues of achieving that. And so that's why I don't really judge, like, you know, drug dealers and all that stuff. I mean, I don't condone what they do because I feel like they really terrorize their own people to obtain some type of wealth. But at the same time, man, you got to look at all the bigger picture. And um, I'm praying for this young brother, Stephante Clark, man. I hope Stephante Clark and his family, they get some type of justice, man. Uh, but, you know, Stephante, I know you don't know me. And he probably is in jail right now. And he's ineligible for bond as well. But, you know, just he was just arrested for suspicion, vandalism, um, just harassing the 911 homicides, victims and saying, I'm just going to uh, kill them with deadly weapons. And it's just little things you don't do. You know, I feel like if this brother had a leader or had not even a leader, just was rooted with a pastor or some type of mentor, you know, and just collecting mind like, OK, my brother got shot unjustly. What can we do? What can I do to change my life? What can I do to put this in a proper perspective? What can I do? We, we can receive some type of justice. Can I go to school for law? Can I, you know, volunteer for the city council? Um, you know, can I actually make videos and express my opinion in a more intellectual way? But if this brother has mental issues and he believes he has mental issues, then I feel like he just eliminate all those possibilities. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, it's many people that's not talented. That's not the greatest speaker in the world, but it's still getting things done. And I'm saying that there could be a little excuse for him and in a way that for him to justify what he's doing. Or maybe the the young brother is wrong. You know, maybe the young brother has mental issues. But I feel like you don't want to subject yourself into something that low because we are God's um, highest form of creation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you made it to 25 years old, Stevante Clark. I mean, they said we're supposed to be dead by the age of 25, according to statistics of young black men. You know, you can you can achieve anything in life. You I mean you made it this far, you had the audacity to go to the city council, you're brave enough, but you know, you know, speaking your mind and going to see and then having these interviews to feel like if you just would have a greater character, they could have employed you to get you a job as a city councilman. They could have gave you a job as a Senate. You know, I mean, well, you're not old enough, but you know, I guess a US House of Representative since you're twenty five, I mean, and then therefore you can pave the way for other young black men to be successful and when they go through things, because that could have been me. That could have been my oh, I don't have a brother, but it could have been my best friend. You know, it could have been somebody else's brother. And you want to kind of lead an example. I know it sucks, it's unfortunate because we can we can say we should have could have this in this situation. It's unfortunate, man. You know, I mean you your your family members just got killed. You're like, what the hell? You know, so it, it, you can it could have been, you know, just lead your way to the right path and um, create good examples, man. Because I know the book in Ephesians when it says, you know, according to it, it lists the components of the full armor of Christ. And one of the components of full armor of Christ is when you have the sandals, you know, and you leave the feet for an example. And just what Jesus Christ did, he always led an example, even though he was angry, but he still made practical ways and he was efficient in what he did, you know, and he didn't he didn't let anyone really pretty much get under his skin he was still focused on his mission where it was the course to to uh for the believers so we won't be having um we will have also have dominion over sin we won't be slaves to sin and that's why he had that prolonged suffering and he was healing many individuals throughout his ministry and i feel like man that if you would have played this right if you would have just you know read some books if you would have just you know um collectively just <sighs> How can I say, just abstain yourself, man, you know, from, from assaulting, or not assaulting, but just from, you know, just harassing or, or calling or 
disrespecting uh, the high authorities, man, and so actually understand and educate yourselves on the law, you wouldn't be in this situation. You'll probably be a, a, a sound brother, man. You know, and I think you still are. I don't know how long he's going to be in jail, but Mr. Fonte Clark, I hope this video go viral. But if you're watching this, man, you you have something special inside you, brother. And I'm gonna be praying for you and your family, and many other brothers that go through this on, the, you know, on the daily. That you know, you want some type of justice, and something needs to be done. And you feel like you know they're gonna just go walk away because they they're gonna walk away and be with their family and still provide. They can go to a different police station. Thing is, man, you know, we, we have to understand it and put our emotions to the side and think logically, man, and just kind of, and just pretty much, man, just, just learn, just learn from this experience and grow each and every single day while we're still living, you know, and just impact others based on our talents. And, you know, that's what I think, but it's, it shouldn't be no shameful on this young man. I put that maybe he could change his life around. He's young. And uh, I just wish that he had some type of leadership. I don't know what his father is. Or someone that He has so much potential. And I wish I can kind of be in that position if I had like a political figure. If I'm a political figure, I have a showcase. I can really just imagine and envision myself just shaking your hand and, and helping you out, man. And then someone works so hard. But this your boy, Young Lee Jr., this is my uh, thoughts on it. Uh, Stevante Clark arrested. I know this happened a few days ago. But I really want to get this off my chest, and uh, I just want to explain this in a deeper way. But brother, man, you know, uh, I want to leave with this verse in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 58. I believe it says, um, do not cast your, what did it say? Therefore, my brethren. Yeah. Therefore, my brethren, be unmovable. There, I say, therefore, my brethren, be unmovable and always abounding in the works of the Lord. I believe that's what it says, yes. And so that's what Apostle Paul was saying. Like, no matter what we go through, you know, don't let any little situation unshake us, man. Uh, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a hard road, but we got to reach that promised land, you know. you always got to abound in the works of the Lord, and he's the one who's going to direct our paths, man. You know, so that's all I have to say. It's your boy, Young Link Jr. here. You guys continue to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, that's why I think about the Stevante Clark arrest. Uh, I'm going to pray for you, man. Um, I'm just going to get better. This is your boy, Young Link. I'm out. Juices.